Alright, so what is up, y'all? It's Legendary EA back here for another video, you guys, another rebuilding challenge. And as you guys can see from the title, we will be taking on six rings of steel. So we are going to be doing a rebuild battle, you guys. We are both going to be taking over the Houston Rockets. But anyways, how this thing works is we are going to both rebuild the Houston Rockets. You guys are going to go down in the description below. Check out his video. A link will be in the description below. Then go ahead and vote in the description on that straw poll. Vote and tell us who has the better team, who rebuilt the Houston Rockets better. We are going to be using the 2017 rosters. And these are all of our settings, you guys. So we're going to be using the default salary cap value and the hard cap all of that but we're gonna be turning off injuries nobody's been getting hurt in here and let's get straight into this rebuild you guys i'm playing on the ps4 so i'm gonna be using embrace the paces roster where is it at all right there we go we're gonna be using embrace the paces rosters we have three seasons to turn this rockets team from trash into something spectacular now the good part is that we already have james harden on this team so you know man hopefully i can bring it back home Man, dude, it's going to be so hard rebuilding this team, and I can't wait to get into it, you guys. But once again, make sure to go ahead and check out Six Rings of Steel's video and let me know who has the better team, you guys. And also go ahead and slap that subscribe button on his channel. If you guys are not watching his videos, you guys are missing out. He is so creative, and his videos are amazing. But look at this team. We're starting it off with James Harden and Michael Beasley being our second best player. That's where you already know that we're about to be taking some mad L's. We got Ryan Anderson, who is overpaid, getting paid 20 million a season. Eric Gordon, yeah, yeah. In my rebuild, I think that we're going to just go ahead and scrap this team. First things first, we're going to be sending Michael Beasley and our 2018 pick to get our 2016 pick back, you guys. I know this team is about to be trash, so I'm not even going to risk it. I'm trying to get this top pick. Let's see what we can do. I know this team is going to be bad. I don't even know why. I'm, I'm even telling you guys. You guys know this team is going to be bad. Uh, let's make sure that yeah for max just to maximize us being trash i'm i'm pretty much gonna get everybody involved in this game no nah, let's not do that let's not do it like this i guess let's go back to 10 minute rotation let's see how this team is doing at the end of the season i'm not gonna make any trades right now all the trades that i make will be during free agency and i do plan on pulling in some super name players um nobody there in free agency right now yeah we're good i mean we can pick up ray allen but i'm good on that too Ooh, yeah, we're going to have to make a lot of changes to this team. So we do get off for this trade, getting the Bucks 2016 pick in Matthew Delvadova in return for Clint Capella and Corey Brewer. I want to keep Clint. Uh, who else can I put in instead of Clint Capella? How about this guy? They be over the... Okay, how much is Clint making? One mil a season. Okay, yeah, y'all can take anybody else, just not Clint Capella. How about this? Okay, no, don't, don't. No, we're not. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll throw in a second round pick. What? How y'all gonna be good with what y'all have, bruh? Come on. This is a good trade. They are out here really trying to scam us. How is this an equal? You know what? I'm good. We are good. I'm not doing that trade. That was hell no. They they were really trying to get us right there. This is a bad trade. Hold on. I do want to make one trade though. Let's see. Who can I pick up? Who, which pick can I pick up? Which team is going to be trash for show for show? Uh, Probably the 76ers. Lakers? The Heat? <laughs> can I get some pick? Oh my, I'm about to do this. I want to, okay, I might actually do the, the, the trade sending the minus. I don't want to give up our pick. So with this pick right here, we're going to be sending Ryan Anderson in our second round pick to the 76ers for the Heat's first round pick along with Gerald Henderson. I like that pick. We open up some cap room for this coming free agency class. And other than that, y'all, that's the only trades that we're going to be making for this first season. We're good. Let's go ahead and let's sim to the end of the season. Hopefully, this team is doing bad. And at the end of season number one, Russell Westbrook is, of course, MVP. Ben Simmons is Rookie of the Year. Michael Beasley is Sixth Man of the Year in Denver. Good for him. And the Warriors win 71 games, just like they normally do. James Harden, please. Okay, James Harden makes All-NBA third team. I, I'm sure he was putting up some monster numbers. He had to have been putting up some monster numbers for us. And, of course, we had no rookies. We did not make the playoffs. We were the 13th seed. Let's look at these stats real quick. James Harden was putting up 26 points a game, along with six rebounds and two steals. And y'all say he don't play defense. I don't, I don't know. Let's Okay, so when we advanced it to 36 minutes, he was even doing better. So James Harden was really killing it for us. Of course, he was an all-star. I mean, 
why wouldn't he be an all-star? He was also in the three-point shooting contest. Good for him. He was out there balling for us, y'all. So as far as our record goes, hopefully we were we don't okay. We were second to last, uh, right above the Lakers and the Mavericks, the Heat. They actually made the playoffs. Wow. What about what about uh shit? Whatever. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sim through the NBA plus. I'm predicting that the Golden State Warriors win just like they always do. Right now, okay, they only lost two games in the playoffs, and they go ahead and they sweep Cleveland and win the championship. So heading into the offseason, you guys, let's see which lottery pick we actually get, y'all. We have to make we have to make some moves. I mean, six rings of steel is probably out there having a super team already. We gotta go ahead and we gotta make some moves out here. Let's see what we got. Which pick we got? We have the fourth overall. We have the fourth overall pick, and we're supposed, and we are expected to get Dennis Smith Jr. Okay, well, uh, what can I do with that? Can I move up in the draft? I'm about to scrap this entire team. We only have eight million dollars in cap room. I gotta make some moves. So we will be taking this trade, sending Eric Gordon and Darrell Arthur to the Lakers in return for Jordan Clarkson. Okay, Jordan Clarkson. Let's see. Uh, I think that was actually a really good pickup. We also need to open up a little bit more cap room. All the players that don't play or don't or at least aren't gonna play a lot next season, I do want them off the team. I want to open up as much cap space as possible. Uh, let's see what I can do right here. Um. I honestly just want a salary dump. Like, is that too much to ask for? I mean, I can, I might have to take, I might have to take that 22nd pick. Yo, Jordan Mickey is actually pretty cold in this game. So we're going to pick him up. There we go. Uh, Now, how much cap room do we have left after doing all of those? 32 mil in cap room. Okay, I, I can work with that. I can honestly work with that. Uh, Trevor Reason might be next to go though. Hold up. I'm gonna just stick to my guns and we're gonna go into the NBA draft with the third overall pick. I mean, with the fourth overall pick. And let's hope that we can, we can pull a gem. Dennis Smith Jr. works. All those guys work. I mean, we, we, we really can't mess up with this draft pick. One more time while we're in the NBA draft. Let's see what we can get for that third pick. I don't mind trading the fourth, but like, no, I don't, I don't want a huge contract in return either. That's the thing. They took Josh Jackson. I actually wanted Josh Jackson. Let's see if I can possibly make that trade with the Hawks. Okay, I don't want Mark. I don't want Markel folks at all. But that actually might be the trade that I go with since I'm getting two players back. Okay, we can get Kevin Love. Okay, I don't. Damn it, I don't want Allen Crabb. I think I don't want Allen Crabb. I am going to make this trade, and I'm just going to flip Allen Crabb. But I don't want him on, on the squad. So we got Josh Jackson. Uh, let's trade away Trevor Ariza and, of course, Allen Crabb. So we're going to be trading Allen Crabb in return for Damian Jones and the, and the Warriors' 30th pick. That's perfect for me. I'm not going to lie. That's straight up perfect. All right. So next up, we're going to trade these two picks. Let's see what comes up. I mean, Trevor Ariza, he's not bad. I just don't need him on the team right now. Okay, hold up. We can possibly get Buddy Hill with that trade. Uh, CJ McCollum, I don't want his contract. And I do want to sign another free agent. So we're going to take this trade, bringing in Buddy Hill and Etwan Moore in return for Trevor Ariza in two first-round picks next year. I'm fine with that trade. Buddy Hill is going to develop well. Uh, as far as everything else goes, I can put Jordan Clarkson back at point guard. I can run James Harden at shooting guard. I can put, I can take Hill off the bench, to be real. So I don't mind that trade at all. Uh, let's see. What else can we do right real quick? I just need to open up a lot of cap room. So, actually, Jordan Clarkson might be on the block. Let's see what I can get for him. I can get Jalen. I'm. Oh my goodness, dude! These guys are gonna develop so well. That's that's the only reason why I'm even open to even doing any of this because these guys are gonna develop so well. Okay, I want Dragon Bender though. So we're gonna make this trade. Trading with Jordan Clarkson, more the 30 pick from the Warriors, long for Hassan Whiteside and Josh Richardson. I like that trade. So that's all the trades that we're gonna make. We might not have any yet. We have no money to sign anybody in free agency. But you know what? It's fine. I think we have a great team already. Let's see what this team can do during the regular season. I'm gonna show you guys free agency just in case we have some money. Let's get right into it. So of course we're gonna go ahead and sign Josh Jackson. Bring these guys back. We'll bring Clint Capella back on the player option. That's it. Uh, man, Blake Griffin's out there. I don't. I obviously can't get that man. So, yeah, I, I obviously can't get that man. Uh, okay, let's go. Qualifying. Yeah, we're gonna offer him a qualifying offer. How much money we got? I, yeah, we probably don't even have any. All right, we got 15 million cap room. I mean, that's not bad. We can sign a solid player with that. Uh, Nene bonus. He's he's restricted, so we can bring it back. If we really want to. Sam Decker can walk. Okay, day one of free agency. Let's see what we got. 
Giannis. Giannis, let's go. We can offer Giannis. Okay, we can offer Giannis. We need a point guard for real, for real, though. Uh, offer Derrick Rose. James Harden became a little bit better. Hassan White still went down, but he's still an 86. Derrick Rose went up. Buddy Heald went up. So our team is actually not that bad. I think the team is actually really, really good, you guys. Let's see what this team can do in the second season of this rebuild. I think this team is going to be good. We This is a three-year rebuild. If you guys didn't already figure that out, uh, this team is going to be great. Let's send them... I guess let's download the next draft class. So we are going to we are going to be changing Clint Capella to a power forward and seeing how high his overall goes. I believe what's his overall before? It's a 76 before. Let's see what it is after I change him to a power forward. There we go. Okay, he's a 78 right now. So that worked out in our favor. Yeah, that that worked out perfectly actually. Let's see. So this is the starting lineup for season number two. Derrick Rowe, James Harden, Josh Jackson, Clint Capella, Hassan Whiteside with Buddy Heald, Josh Richardson. Dude, this team is pretty good. We're going to be running a nine-man rotation, actually. Yeah, let's run this nine-man rotation. And let's see how this team does in season number two. Even though this is a rebuilding challenge, y'all, I would still like to win a championship. So let's see how this team does. So at the end of season number two, Steph Curry wins MVP. Josh Jackson, our boy, wins Rookie of the Year. Brandon Knight, six man of the year. And let's see, Steve, what the? They won 75 games and lost seven. They broke their own record. But Towns is most improved, so that's pretty cool. James Harden has got, like, we went 52 and 30. This team was obviously, we're all see if James Harden or anybody made any of those teams. Hansan and Whiteside makes all NBA third team, and that is it for our squad. Okay, who else? Clint Capella and Hassan make all defensive second team. He's now an 80 overall. He was balling out there. Josh Jackson was, of course, all in, all rookie first team. Of course, he was rookie of the year. We were the second seed, you guys. Let me show you guys this real quick. Our team was out there killing it. And, of course, we have no injuries. So, yo, everybody's pretty much balling out there. Uh, let me show you guys my settings real fast. Settings one more time again. Here we go. Let's look at these stats real quick. So, James Harden's number did take a hit because now he has more options around him. He averaged 21 points a game along with 7 assists, 1.5 steals, and 1 block. Hassan Whiteside with 3 blocks basically, 13 rebounds, 16 points. Josh Jackson was out there being a killer too. Everybody was pretty much doing their part and I cannot fault any of them for it, y'all. We were right behind the Warriors, I'm sure. Yeah, we were right behind the Warriors. And we were 3 games ahead of the Phoenix Suns who were actually cold this season. Yeah, they were actually cold this season. Anyways, y'all, let's get straight into the playoffs. You know, I still want to win a championship, even though the goal is to beat six rings of steel. I mean, Clint Capella's contract is up. We're going to try to bring him back. We're taking on the San Antonio Spurs in round number one. I'm not going to take a look at their team because we were the second seed. Of course, I'm not worried at all. We're going to sim the entire round, and we sweep them. I mean, if we're the second seed and the seventh, we better sweep them, or at least we better win in five. Anyways, going up against the Phoenix Suns, who were the third seed, they take game one. We take game two, they take game three, we take game four. Let's let's take the lead. Let's take the three. Let's go. Let's end the series. Bruh. We can't be doing that now. Come on, let's not lose this game. Let's win this championship. But we can now we get eliminated in the second round, you guys. Uh it's all cool. It's fine. There's, there's nothing to worry about because we still have one more year of this year. We can still win a championship. But right now, I think that we do have the better. I don't know what Six Rings of Steel is cooking up over there on his channel. But from my perspective, we have an amazing team. I know we don't have any draft picks. But let me see uh, how the whole thing is going out with free agency and stuff. Let's see. Let's see if we can make any trades real quick. We can trade him for basically nothing. I, I do want something, though. I definitely want something. CJ Miles is a beast. Let's let's pick him up. Let's pick that boy up. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's go into the rookie signs. We sh we shouldn't have any. Yeah, we have no rookies. Uh, the team options. We're gonna bring all these guys back because they were so good on our team. So Carmelo is there. We obviously cannot get Carmelo Anthony. Qualifying offers. I do want Clint Capella. Um, this guy I don't care about. I'm still gonna bring him back just because we have so much good team chemistry he's restricted so i don't gotta worry about him demonis is not restricted i do want to bring this guy back uh back. let's go ahead and let's get into player pro, pro into player progression okay we bring that guy back too let's see hassan whiteside does get worse but this team is still doing really really well um we're still developing because we have young players out here you guys i'm not worried about any of this let's go back into training camp let's get some of these guys and turn them into better shooters because right now the potential does not matter at all i just want to get them it's a better player. So we're going to take him. Oh, let's, oh, that's cool. Combo guard. Buddy 
heal there we go let's get into the last season this team is crazy good but let's see what we got for season number through the final season bro we, we made all of our moves we made all of our moves basically during free agency last year let's see what we can do okay so this is pretty this is the exact same starting line that we had in season number two Derek Rose James Harden Josh Jackson Clint Capella Hassan Whiteside with Buddy Hill with Patrick Beverly, CJ Miles, and Denonis coming off of the bench. I mean, we, we did lose Josh Richardson, but you know what? It's wherever. We're going to be just fine without that guy. Let's see what we can do in the final season. I do want to I do want to win a championship, so let's see what we can do. Let's go ahead and let's win a championship, y'all. Let's beat. We still can't beat the Warriors, but let's see what we do. And I'll catch you guys at the end of the season. And for the final season, LeBron is MVP. Frank Jackson, okay, who who really cares? Dwight Howard is Defensive Player of the Year. That's crazy. But we did go 51 and 31. I believe we were fourth in the Western Conference. Let's see, did any of our players make any of these teams? No, they did not. But Clint Capella didn't make all defensive second team. No Hassan Whiteside on this, okay? Uh, let's see, we were third. We were the third seed, actually, you guys. Um, I'm pretty sure we were behind the Warriors, of course. We were behind the Warriors and the Utah, the Utah Jazz. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna go in on them. I don't, I don't know how they are ahead of us. But anyways, y'all, let's look at these stats for the last season real quick. James Harden put up about the same numbers he did last season. He got a little bit more assists, but other than that, the team was really, really solid, and I cannot wait to see what they do in the NBA playoffs. All right, y'all, let's see what we can do. Yo, he's playing 31 off the bench. That's crazy. Anyways, in in round one, we are taking it on the Suns, who beat us last season. We take game one. We take game two. Let's can we sweep them though? That's the question. It doesn't mean nothing if we can't sweep them. We can't sweep them though. I'm about to say if they come back, I was gonna be pissed. Now we're gonna be taking on the Los Angeles Lakers in these semifinals. Let's see what we can do. We take game one. We take game two. We keep getting these three old leads. I wanna go ahead and just end them right now. Let's end them. Let's go. Let's go. Oh dang, we taking on Golden State. We taking on Golden State though. Uh Who's on their team? Did KD go back and all that? Well, GG. Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green. There's no injuries to crap. So going into the conference finals, somehow the Pacers and the Wizards made it there. I don't know how. Let's see what we can do, y'all. We take game one. They take game two. They take game three. They, bruh. Let's not let's not do this, man. Let's let's beat them. Let's beat them, though. Can we? There's 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 no comeback, huh? There's no comeback. So we do get eliminated. They were out there cooking. Steph Curry dropped 32 on this, man. Anyways, we cannot win the NBA championship, y'all. But let me know what you guys think about the roster in the comment section below. Make sure to go and check out Six Rings of Steel's video and go ahead and vote in the description below which team is better. So our team consisted of James Harden, Hassan Whiteside, Buddy Heald, Derrick Rose, Josh Jackson, Clint Capella, Patrick Beverly, Monty Yunus, CJ Miles, Jordan Mickey, Damian Jones, Montreal Herald, and this guy, Marcelo Herantas. I don't really know how to say his name, y'all, but let us know which team is better. Go ahead and vote in the description, in the, in the straw poll in the description below. And also check out his video to see which team is better. But other than that, y'all, make sure to go ahead and slap the like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Also, make sure to go ahead and check out Six Rings of Steel and subscribe over there if you guys are not already. Other than that, y'all, hope you guys had a wonderful day. It's Legendary EA, and I'm out. Peace, y'all. With the 13th pick in the 2015 NBA Draft, the Phoenix Suns select Devin Booker from the University of Kentucky. You know, he didn't uh, shy away from contact. He didn't shy away from the matchup. And um, he got a great future in his league. You know, he's 19 years old. And the guy, uh, you know, no matter what their record is, you've seen him continue to keep going tonight. Hey, he's fantastic. I think he has the right attitude. He has the right competitive spirit. I think uh, his footwork is extremely sound. His fundamentals are extremely sound. Um, and now it's just about him figuring out exactly what his game is. And then he can go to that every single night and then make counters off of it. But he has the skills in there.